We're installing a Sherpa Cold Winch in my 1974 Pinskauer. It's Australian made, 12,000 pounds, 24 volt rating, 6.6 .6 horsepower motor with a three stage planetary gearbox CNC cut steel. Braking gearbox, fully sealed, all bright solenoid with an 800 amps rating and about 50 pounds weight. Let's see how that goes. In every electrical job that you do in your vehicle, disconnect the batteries. In this case, 24 volt system, you get them disconnected. In the winch, we're using 12.9 volts, high strength. For tap deterrent, we're using this special locking bolt that we're going to install in the back of the winch. So now we have to tighten the bolts 12.9 bolt grade to 75 newton meters. Since I don't have newton meters, I have to convert it to foot pounds, which turned out to be like 55 foot pounds. So we have a 50, 2, 3, 4, 55 foot pounds. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, so the first one we're gonna connect is a short black cable with yellow slip connecting to terminal C yellow. Right there, it's a little yellow right there. I'm gonna put the locking washer. Let's put the flat washer first, locking, and then the nut. And second we're gonna connect is a short black cable with black slip D connecting to terminal D black. Short black cable right there. And as you can see it's black right there at the base. connect the earth thin cable to terminal A of the motor which is down here actually this is the earth thin connected to this one but this one is also going towards the battery negative so a little bit we're gonna need to connect also the lead that goes to the battery ne negative that is this one right here Okay, so that's the earth thing and the black negative going towards the battery source. And finally, we get to connect, let's see, 
and the shore red with red slip up on the top right there, which is this one right here. positive red long cable connected to the positive terminal of the battery and we're gonna put a little bit of dielectric grease around the terminals so they get a little more protected against the element okay and now we're just gonna tighten the knives right there And don't forget the one in the bottom going towards the battery or this is not gonna work. That's tight. So this is what it looks like with the cover boots on. German tied all cables together into my solenoid box and then I if you come over here right there you can see where it's going home I put a rubber grommet and cut and I rotted it right there supported it Under, and it's supported there under their filter it comes back out some more rubber grommets into my control box the control box comes into it into a disconnect right there The disconnect also has a light that is gonna let me know when the the heat the winch is on. The light has a little fuse to protect it. And the other side goes into my main log, Polaris, that goes down into the battery and into a breaker that controls my 24 to 12 volt step down system for some lightings and power in my phones and all that. Well, we'll see if it works. We're first gonna need to reconnect the battery system and we will see. Well, let's see if it works in the name of Jesus. Here we go. We turn the system on, and as expected, the light is blinking, letting me know that the winch is active. Okay. And I have the controller on, install, Let's see. Yes, it's working. Now we're just gonna have to reroute this and do some designing to cut this area to reroute the force down the pin door into this area and mount the fur lead in this direction. That's it. Now I have redirected the force out of the bottom where it was originally intended to come out, but now we're rubbing over here. So we're gonna have to trim this metal over here so my synthetic rope doesn't rub in there and cause any problems. But basically, that's where it's gonna come out. So, system active. This is my friend Armando. Ready? And the whole vehicle is moving. 